Rocky Rider out of North Fork, California. It's going to be the 74 of Ryder Ellis. Tristan Pruitt comes to you from West Lynn, Oregon, aboard the KTM. KTM Rider calls Boise, Idaho home. His name is Kane Markham on the 82 machine. And the number 83 is Brady Rodecker out of Scotia, New York, aboard the KTM. Grayson Townsend on the 87 machine. Cole Blecka, 95. Rossi Shoemate, 97. And Aiden Bailey, the number 99. What do you got? Mega Off and running right now, the 85 CT 10 to 12 Carson Wood on that 26 machine, grabbing the hole shot and an early lead as they work their way into the 10 commandments. Carson Wood nailed that gate drop. Got a great jump, had almost a bike link on him as they made their way to the end of the billboard. Taking full advantage of that right now and starting to lay the power to the ground wow. is the number 26, Carson Wood. KTM has white walls. You seeing this? <laughs> Straight up, white wall tires there. Nice classy look there. Yeah, it looked like your 49 Merc, you know. There you go. Absolutely. He's got a uh, bike show to go to here down at Waverly as soon as this is over with. I like the lead sled look. Yeah, he's got it slammed. That that bars dropped down to the tank there. That Tri-5 Chevy thing going on. Got fins on the rear fender. Jeez. <laughs> yes. The Ricky Carmichael bend Mike. bars with about that much of a there's just straight yeah, tube exactly. of steel. Yeah, right. Rise, none. 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 <laughs> Draw, none. Can you run these bars through my Sweep, gas tank? Can zero. we have it through yeah. the tank? Sweep, I want to go through zero. the tank. <laughs> Opening lap here, uh, 85, 10 to 12. This is their first moto on this racetrack. I got to tell you, man, I, I wouldn't mind racing about this time in the morning. It's not scorching hot. The track is not super rough yet. Man, it's probably some of the better lap times you'll see all day. The lines are already locked in there. And my man's got a great opening lap here. Carson Wood handling business right now. You've got to handle some business, Megawatt. What, what do you got? Hey, we got Owen White. We need him to the trackside office as well as Olivia Grantham. Olivia Grantham to the trackside office. So Owen White, Olivia Grantham, you guys won the lottery. You guys are needed over Whoa. there. We've got a right. prize waiting for you at right. the MX Sports office. There so you uh, if you make your way over there to the trackside office, uh, you can claim your prize. There is Donald Eugene Banks ducking to go in the bathroom. He's that tall. His head's poking out of the top. This thing's a convertible. Donald Banks. He's hit. He's got his eye leaning in here. The second floor like a, like a T-Rex. I just want to see the scores. We're three stories up. Donnie Banks got his head in here. What's going on, boys? Capital Cycle Company. All right, Carson Wood handling business right now. Cole Blecka, Landon Gibson, Grayson Townsend, Vincent Way. That is your top five. Let's see if we can get Vincent Way up towards the podium. I'm sure he'd like to have that happen. Got a little work to do. Turn a 159.4 last time around, so uh, got a little bit of traffic ahead of him. And those are slouches. Look at Townsend, Gibson, Blecka, Wood up there. All the way from, uh, let's see, looks like about one through five. Those guys separated by maybe about four seconds total. Yeah, and then back in the pack, you pick up Ryder Ellis on the 74 Kawasaki along with Darren Pine on the 58 Gas Gas. Those are two riders that we expect to see towards the front of the pack here when this moto comes to a close. Yeah, Pine in some traffic right now on that 58 machine. I will promise you he's going to open it up here just shortly. He wants to let things sort themselves out on lap number one. But the 58 will not be happy in that number nine Should've position Should have got that fast pass, that sun pass, the <laughs> HOV lane. He'd be yeah. zipping right down the side of those Ten Commandments. Everybody likes that express lane. Yep. I'm with you. I like it. There's the 27, Vincent Way, and he is moving up, I believe, as the camera is trained on him. Sporting some new answer gear. I'm sure he's Grab fully hydrated off. with some Arma <laughs> Absolutely. hydration. I know Scott and those boys are down there set up. They are the official hydration supplement supplier, I believe. I'm just going to call it what it is. They're down there on Bender Row. Oh, they said it was so hot, Here Jason Lawrence was drinking water yesterday. Wow, that's hot. Landon Gibson trying to make a move. Looked like Gibson going after Blecka. Made a small mistake right there just before the finish line, but we've got a battle on our hands. Vincent Way found just a little bit of speed that time. Closed that gap now. Yeah, the lap times are all kind of tightening up now. Yeah. Vincent Way was in some traffic. You're yeah. saying everybody now in the 207, 206 range. So exactly. That's what you expect to see, some parity there. Like I said, Darren Pine, he's getting room to work right now. So <laughs> he's getting he room sure to is. make it happen. Taking a Speaking look at the which, number 95 he he disappeared. Machine. There's Cole Blecka. The 58. Did Pine go down? He disappeared. He must have. He was in ninth. Oh, man, yeah, because he was making time. He was moving, looking good. Wow, look at Ryder Ellis with a great lap. He goes from 11th to 8th wow. on the number 74 Kawasaki. Yep. We will keep tabs on that young man. 
Yeah, Vinny found some time. Uh, he's down to that 207. Leader's running 206.3, so he's Tight putting race. himself in good position right now. That is the number two of Landon Gibson. He has got Carson Wood directly in front of him as he goes into Storyland. So your top three now starting to tighten up. Here comes Cole Blecka. Uh, you know, we love a great battle, but it's even better when it's for the lead. Love it. Yeah, you know, this is as good as it gets right here, buddy. So just about five minutes in, really early in this one. Only a couple laps to get these guys sorted out here. Kevin, and I have to tell you, that's exactly what's happening. Starting yeah, to get a number. packing order right now. And anytime you see a guy with a top 10 number, that means he is returning. That was his finish last year. Cole, or excuse me, Landon Gibson has that number two on that machine for a reason. And he is going after Carson Wood. Our drone is on top of it, literally flying above the battle here of Landon Gibson, Carson Wood, right in front of us here. In fact, the whole group pretty much won two, three, four, five. I tell you, it, it, it's awesome to get that drone footage, Kevin. It, it shows everything from the actual gap, the move, the strategy, to, to the race line itself. Man, I just love that drone footage. Yeah, our, drone pilot, our drone pilot won the best in the business. 100%. I, I haven't seen parts of these racetracks <laughs> probably ever. Like, right. I just never have a chance to go way off into Storyland exactly. or wherever this track goes. Let's down go walk Waverly. the red zone. Let's go walk the red zone. Yeah, Let's yeah, that just doesn't happen. That one loop that takes you down into Waverly around the Walmart. <laughs> never oh, seen that it. before. Yeah, love it. Uh, <laughs> All right, so Ryder Ellis picks up another spot. He is approaching the top five. He's up to the number seven spot. There's Carson Wood on the 26 machine. Then you have the number two of Landon Gibson, who is slowly, slowly creeping up. In fact, two seconds quicker was Gibson. Wood turns a 206. Gibson with that 204. And it's starting to heat up as we follow along above the Ten Commandments. The number two, a smooth line. Oh, I like that. Just avoid that bump on the inside. And he is locked in on Carson Wood out of Florida. Landon Gibson comes to you from, well, Carson Wood is from Florida, and Gibson is from Peachtree City. You ought to know that. And he is side by side. Look at that. Wow. Much real estate left. Going to cr crisscross the lines. Did he just bunny hop out of one rut into the other? I think he did. He made a double. Did, did not he he kind of used that breaking bump right and then jumped from rut to rut. Man, oh, man. And Gibson is on a tear right now. He is locked in on our leader, Carson Wood. That's the battle we are watching. Gibson's got that baby blue gear if you're looking for a little difference in the two riders. They're both on KTMs. Yeah, Gibson's Wood, running. he's a little farther over the back of the bike. Look a little more centered up as Gibson. Now, I think Gibson's he's a, he's a bit, bit bigger, bigger too. Kids. Yeah, he's yeah. a bit bigger, so. And they will now approach the uh, center point of the racetrack right down Broad Street here as your leader, Carson Wood, trying to fight off Landon Gibson. These guys are 12 years old, and, and, and they got the racecraft uh, uh, of Jet Lawrence. You know? That's what's spending <laughs> every day of the week down at MTF, GPF, Club MX, south of the border, if Matt you're, If you're place. anywhere down there, you're riding with the factory anyways. They're all down there. Okay, you're, you're, you're riding with the pros anyways. Yeah. But we, we say this every year. It, it sounds redundant. It sounds like a broken record. But each year, the kids get younger and younger, showing more and more racecraft, more strategy. Yeah. Uh, you know, put more thought into line. It's just incredible. Well, if you follow along these uh, training facilities, like Matt Walker, his last, I guess two weeks ago, he simulated an entire week uh -huh. at Loretta. So yep. He has the track built. Yep. He has your day built where you race at this time, that time. You yep. deal with the heat and all that stuff. He gets you ready for this whole week before you even get here. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and he's done that a couple years. He's built the track and that type yep. of thing. And that's what it takes. That's what's required, I guess, at this level. Look at if that. If you look for that 1%, you're all about the same speed. There's yes. about 10 of you that are going to go about the same speed. If you're looking for that 1% or 2%, then that's how you do it. You simulate the misery here. Oh, Kevin, you're 100% the suffering. That's it. The suffering. It's a great line that he's using again. A rider in the number two spot, Gibson. And it's crazy, though. It looks like it's so much faster, but then he comes out and Wood pulls him. So I'll, it's so even, this track. It is. It really is. We we saw that and uh, we saw that in 450B. Uh, you know, one guy's faster past the billboard, back into the red zone, and then once you get to waterworks, somebody's faster coming back through the sand right. in that time of thing. So it's kind of tit for tat. But when we take a look at these kids and their ability to not follow, to to take a bad line, to uh, make an immediate move, 
th that's experience beyond their years, in my opinion. And we're seeing that out of 50cc kids. Sure. We're, we're seeing that out of the 65cc classes, especially. Seven to nine years old, these guys are setting up passes three or four corners ahead of time. Uh, you know, they're reading that pit board. They're, they're, they're using strategy and racecraft that you wouldn't see till 250B. Well, there's some great you know? racecraft <laughs> going on right here. The number 95 of Bleca is now fighting off Vincent Way. Oh, that is man. her third spot. That is our podium spot. That's the bronze medal spot. Vincent's swinging it way around the outside and it's going to work out pretty even. He's going to have a huge head of steam. He'll be able to jump a jump. The other rider could not jump because he went to the inside and it all works itself out. It didn't have to eat any roost. You see Vincent going way to the inside. Whoa, rear end kicks out He's just a little bit, here. but no fall of the leader. He sees a bad line right there. He's going to try it. He's not eating roost. He's not uh, got any bad vision right now. Put a lot more miles on his bike. Yeah, take carry, a long way carry around. some momentum, and he's going to have three more miles on that uh, well, machine at the end of the race than anybody else. I mean, that is incredible, the battle there. And the battle for the number one this, spot is still cooking. Landon Gibson, the chef, is cooking one up right now. Medium well for <laughs> me, my man. This has been a four-lap battle. For first and third, the battle. That's Absolutely. identical. Look at that. Gibson swings around the wow. outside. He might. No, he does not. That's dead even again. Oh. I think he did it going into the ticket. Lapper family. coming into play. Oh, he makes a big move. Gibson takes the line, slows down the entrance for Carson Wood, and that's all she wrote. Move has been made. Again, though, Lapper right into rates line. Up. Let's up. see what happens. Carson Wood fires back. But the number two now, Landon Gibson, takes over on lap number five. It took him five laps to put it all together. Wood going to try something wow. on the inside, and he might have it. Side by side, and he'll take the pass and make first place his yet again. What a battle for this first place position. Opening moto here for these kids. Sends it. I almost believe that has a little bit to do with the size of Wood. Wood's bike accelerated really well right there. He was able to make that triple, and uh, you just couldn't get the drive for Carson Wood. Wow, what a battle. Here he comes. Or landing. Back. There's the pass for a moment. We've had four different lead changes this lap. Right. Oh, and we're going to see another one right here. Look Ooh. at this, elbow to elbow. <laughs> oh, Mike drops it. out on Carson Wood, and Landon Gibson said, thank you, man. Wow. That's the second time Landon Gibson has led this thing. Gibson looks like Rick Johnson on, on, on an old machine. Look how stout he looks, how big yeah. and solid he is. Yeah, absolutely. So he, he is a, officially going to uh, be credited with leading a lap here. The number two of Landon Gibson. All right, hey guys, I'm up here with Ethan Hughes, FCA Motocross. We got a good race going on now. Take a, a, a short, uh, quick uh, 30 seconds here. And uh, tell us, man, talk to us about FCA's uh, scavenger hunt you got going on. What's it like? Yes, so we have somewhere on the property an FCA bottle hidden. And so if you want to get a hint to find the water bottle, come by FCA. We are right next to Lake Loretta or on Vendor Road. So just come by, we'll give you the hint, and then good luck. And then good luck. All right, so what do they get? I mean, scavenger hunt, they, did they get the bottle and they're like, okay, thank you, bye? Yes, no, so there's a grand prize. You will win 100% goggle. So uh, yes, we will be doing a scavenger hunt today and also Friday if you don't find one today. So. Okay, so that's good, that's my other question. So this goes on today, Wednesday, again on Friday. So again, they come see you, where can they find you? Yes, we have an FCA pit at by Lake Loretta and we're also on Vendor Road. All right, let, by Lake R Loretta, by Vendor Row, come see the FCA folks. They're going to say, hey, here's your hint. Good luck out there. Keep your eyes and ears open. Uh, Ethan, right? Ethan, man, appreciate you guys. Appreciate everything you guys do for us, for sure. All right, let's throw it back to the race in action. Let's do it. Landon Gibson now on lap number six. He made the pass four different times in that lap number five. Yeah, absolutely. finally able to stick it. Yeah. So it's Gibson, just Wood, Blecka, Vincent Way, Jace, Wolf. That is your top five. Just coming into that six-minute mark right now. Six minutes to go. And I have to tell you, they look like they've sorted themselves out. Now all of a sudden, 206, 208, 208, 210, 210. Uh, Jonathan Guest, we talked about him on that 22. He's got a good pace going. He's about a 209 right now. He's a little bit quicker than some of the riders ahead of him. But what's going to be the uh, key right now is going to be mistakes, Kevin. This is yeah, the final few minutes. Uh, they're all so evenly matched here. Like, the lap times are dead even. And Landon Gibson and Carson Wood, this lap riders, this is not going anywhere. That race will not stop. There's Carson Wood. He's not afraid to run it on the inside, get into those deep, deep ruts. That's no. kind of intimidating if you're not great at ruts. Oh, for sure, especially when you have this style of rut. Uh, and that's another thing Walker does. Walker puts the ruts out there. Walker makes it happen. 
moistens that stuff up, gets it good and soft, gets those guys used to it. A lot of these kids never seen rust like this till they get to the ranch. No, and I've talked to kids that this is their first time here, and they're just shocked at how rough this stuff is. It's harder. It's impossible to replicate this. It, unless you have 1,200 kids that you can bring over to the house <laughs> yeah. and ride for eight straight hours. <laughs> right. And that's about the only way you can simulate this gnarly racetrack. Right. And, and in that mix, have some 450s and A-level riders. Yes. Yeah. So, Dad, if you're back there in the pits and Johnny Blue Jeans finished 28th in his first moto, <laughs> settle down. That racetrack is a man's man's racetrack. When Michael Lessie comes off the track going, my God, that's wow. a rough racetrack. Yeah. These are pro-level athletes that are telling you it is absolutely rough. So when this kid's on a 85cc machine, it is not as easy as it looks. When you walk the track, I love it. They're oh, like, oh, you yeah. walk this track for the first time, they're like, okay, well, that's a little double here, a little tabletop it's here. Flat. Like, nothing to it's flat. It's level, man. No, there's no, Ain't no hills on that track. Nowhere to rest. There is nowhere, nowhere to take dude. a breath on this racetrack. Absolutely it gets not. rough. So eight one hundredths of a second separate Landon Gibson and Carson Wood running one and two. And this is just such a battle here. Bleka and Vincent Way both throw down identical lap times. Four one hundredths of a second separating fourth and third. Eight one hundredths of a second separating first and second. Kevin, I'm not sure, but I think the largest There's gap. way there. That is Vincent Way and oh. Blecka for third oh, place. Blecka on the 95, Vincent Way on the 27, trying that outside line. It just there it keeps adding miles to the bike. That's going to be tough the to sell value. Value. Yeah, the lower the resale value. Yeah, lower the value. Listen, NADA, you'll pay for that. Yep. Believe me. Thank goodness they didn't pay for that bike. Probably got that one for free. There's Bleka. But this is what I'm talking about. Like, to run that outside line or inside line with confidence, knowing a mistake could really hurt you, and neither one of them afraid to get into those deep ruts. Vincent Way literally takes just, the long way around everywhere. It. Yep. He just railed it. Leg out, laid that thing over, uh, and it was picture perfect. Cross running coming out of that right-hander, Vincent Way, throwing everything in the kitchen sink at Cole Bleka. Two-lap board is out per Jeff Canfield. Peace sign to you, my man. Thank you for that heads up with three pair of glasses on his head, nine radios, texting, running the ops here for Loretta Lenz. I believe he the dated Loretta multi, back in the multitasker. 30s. He's, he's a multi-multitasker, yes. so he multitasks many times at once. So that's multi-multitasking. That multi yeah, yeah. Exponentially multitasking. Wow. I, I don't think that our gap has been bigger than that, 2.5 nope. seconds between first and second that's place. It for, uh, well, 18 minutes now. And Vincent Way has made the pass on the 95 of Cole Blecka, just past where our timing and scoring pick it up. So Vincent Way saving his best for lap last here as the two-lap board is out. The white flag will come out, and we'll see if Cole Blecka has anything left on the inside. There he goes. Wow, here it is. Blecka on the 95 has to switch lanes. He j drives that thing deep in the inside. Try that oh. double out of here. Way gets Everybody's extremely hit. sideways on that uh, entrance right there. Tries to defend. Oh, boy, Does look at the lap riders that. here. Oh, look, Choose wisely. Look at Did you Vincent. see Vincent? He cut all the way across there. Nice He's, move. He has eyes in the back of his head. Yes, sir. Nice move. Or perhaps mirrors on those. Why go huskies. through the rut when we can go across Just it? Cut across it. Why yeah, not? nice. So Vincent Way back into storyland now has lap. Oh, good Lord. Oh, there's lap oh, riders oh. everywhere. Last lap, or excuse me, a lap and a half or so to go. And Vincent Way trying to escape. Cole Blecka on that 95 machine. Looked like they were on I-95. It sure did. Exactly what it looked like. All kinds of traffic working their way through. Now back into Waterworks. This is going to be critical. Less than half a lap to go. you got to be able to look up and kind of uh -huh. spot your competition and figure out, okay, he's over here. I've got to go over here. I'm going to get stuck. So there's Vincent on the inside. Oh, no, he's kind of hung up. Oh. And here comes Blecka. Blecka could really capitalize here. Vincent gets hung up. Oh, he's oh, on the inside. That's move. a risky move there. He went for it, though. There is Blecka overhead. Lap rider behind him. Vincent Way has cleared the lap traffic around the big sweeper. And the white flag should come out. There's Vincent Way. Our leaders have already came through. So this one's going to go 10 laps. Nine wow. in the books. Going to throw the checker at 10 laps. And these kids have been relentless. Now, all of a sudden, look at this. Our gap is 8. .8. Yep. We, we went from 1.5 seconds to finally we finally. saw a 2 in front of it. To 8. All of a sudden, it goes to 8. That's digging deep. That What that is is an incredible lap on lap number 9, a 2.06. Yeah. yeah. And his fastest lap was a 2.04, so he stays within that 2-second range of his best lap me? deep into the moto. And it, it, even Vincent Way at 2.10. That's solid. Carson Wood at 2.12. Cole Black at 2.12. 
But that 206, uh, uh, unbelievable on the last lap. Oh, well, next to last lap, white flag lap. White flag is out here for our 85, 10 to 12 limited. Ryder Ellis only able to get up to 10th. He moved all the way to 6th and then obviously had a problem, fell back. There's Jonathan Getz back in the number 6 spot. He has climbed up there. I'll give you a quick rundown of the top 10. It is Ellis in 10th. Zane Martin, 9th. Christopher Harris, 8th. Brendan Harrison, 7th. Jonathan Getz, 6th. Here is your top 5. Jace Wolf, Blecka, Vincent way up into a podium spot. Carson Wood, who led this thing for the better part of 6 laps, gave up the ghost. Landon Gibson flexes on him with a couple of laps to go and throws down that 2.06. Exactly. That is that is a businessman special right and there. You, you he know, went you, to work. You said Carson would give up the ghost, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I don't even know if that if that describes it. It, it was just a battle, man. It, it was absolutely it. incredible. Might be exhausted. Yeah, oh, I'm exhausted from watching it. All right, checker flag should come out here in just a moment. There is our leader around the big beach on the number two machine. He comes around. He'll step it down a couple of times. Hang a lefty Lucy here, and the checker flag will come out for the number two of Landon Gibson, Peachtree City, right there at the outlet malls there on 75. <laughs> sure Doug Duchette knows this kid. That's his hometown. That'll do it. Uh, checker flag is out. Landon Gibson. They are dancing in the streets in Peachtree City. Nicely done, my man. Braves win, DJ wins, Landon Gibson wins. That, they're wow. having good times down there, aren't they? Absolutely. No doubt. What are you saying back there? So just a few moments, going to get that uh, number be. two machine up on the podium with Mikey Wayne. Going to hear from Carson Wood, Vincent Way as well. Yeah. Great ride by Vincent Doug Way. Doug Vincent, uh Vincent working his way from about seventh place through the pack up there. Put himself into that podium position with about two laps to go. And there you see it, the number two KTM, Landon Gordon, perched upon the podium. Coming up next, going to be Schoolboy 1, 12 to 17 BC. Wow, Colin Allen, Logan Best, Jeremiah Willoughby, Deegan Van Verde, all the usual suspects in this one. James Clough, Thor Powell, Ryder Gwynn, Christian Merman, Tyler Millay, Logan Lesser, Austin Park, Milo Moss, Trace Holland, Reese Wheaton. Boy, this is going to be a good one, Kevin. Wow, I'm telling you. Landon Papard, Peter Parenti, Jordan Miller, Zayden Mason, Luke Fowser, Diesel Thomas out of Nebraska, Dylan Blacka, <laughs> Dominic Felty, Revan Gordon, Connor Lords, Tommy Callow, Clark Robbins, Casey Cochran, Carter Malcolm, Gavin Batson, Kyler Romp, Joe Spadaro, Jordan Torres, Mason Nettleton, Cole Kish, Connor Dawkins, Keegan Hardy, Landon Hartz, Holland, Russell, Cooper, Abbott, Noah, Stevens, Case, and Little all coming up in that schoolboy 1, 12 to 17. We ready there, Mikey? Looking good, brother. Yeah, Landon Gibson making his way up on the box. Hey, he had he had hands a shake and, and babies a kiss. So Your glasses <laughs> look awesome. Oh, th thank you, Megawatt. Thank you. Shout out to Oakley on that one. Hey, Landon Gibson, let's talk about you, my guy. What a battle in this one. But, boy, by the time you found yourself out front, you found that flow, you come away with a P1. Tell us about it. Yeah, man, on the start, before the gate even dropped, my whole shot device on set. So I was around fifth in the whole shot, not a bad start. I just uh, focused, and uh, I was patient. I was patient, man. We got the win. Patient. Got the win. I love that. That's uh, You guys need to be taking notes down there. That patience pays off, man. No, you don't do it alone. Who you want to thank? Jesus Christ for keeping me safe. My mom, my dad, Bell, 100%, answer, um, pro taper, um, Coach Grasick for training me and helping me get these wins, and uh, that's it, everyone else that I forgot. There you go, you guys. Make some noise. First place finisher, Landon Gibson. All right. Got the photo. Did it for the gram. Snapchatter didn't happen. All right, let's bring up our second place finisher. I guess Carson Wood, if I'm not mistaken. I think he snagged our whole shot as well. Our podium assistant down there, Hannah Watson. We call her Hannah Watt, Megawatt's daughter. She's got the whole shot work. She's going to hand to Carson. All right, we got him. We got him dialed. We'll get him hooked up with some hardware here. All right. Come on up, dude. You see, you're, you're squinting. You got hope in your eyes. I can see it. All right, Carson Wood, man. Uh, hey, obviously, fantastic start. You're going home with the Stasic Whole Shot Award, and you come away with a P2. You had a good battle there with Landon. Tell us about it. Um, it was pretty good. I got the whole shot, 
and I was leading, and then Landon got me, and then I went in the back, and I leaned over a little bit too far. My bar just got stuck in the dirt, but it didn't shut off, so I just got back up, and yeah. Just got back up and kept fighting, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, hey, good work, Carson. Congratulations to you. Who are the sponsors and people you want to thank? Uh, my mom, my dad, Future to Max, Fox, Lynx, FMF, Ethica, Pro Taper, um, Power Band, Moto, X, Moto Sandbox, and God forgive me, say thank you. There we go, your second place finisher. Hold that up, my guy. Get the photograph, Carson Wood. Good job. All right. Oh, we had her upside down. Hey, that was probably on me, my guy. Sorry about that. All right, Carson Wood wraps up. Let's get our third place finisher up here on the box. I got a bronze medal to give out. Where's my P3 guy? Somewhere over there. He's shaking hands, kissing babies. There he is. He got his bib stuck on the handlebar. He said, I'm hustling, Mikey. I got to wrap up signing some autographs down here. They're crowded around the Husky. All right, take that. All right, Vincent Way, come on up here, man. Center of this box. Talk to us, Vincent. You had a good battle back in there. You had to earn this P3 today, man. What did it take to get up here on the box? Um, yeah, I picked tw chip 27. Um, got off to a decent start, not really that great, and then made my way up the field. Hey, you did you did well when the checkered flag flew. You you made the best of it. Who do you want to thank? Oh, my mom, my dad, Husqvarna, um, FMF, Answer, Bell, Scott, um, Alpine Stars, um, and everybody else. Thank you so much. There you go, your third place finisher, Vincent Way.